Hey guys, JKG here, back with another One Punch Man video. And today I want to talk about all these stats. So some people are asking me what does hit mean? And also damage free and stuff. Crush. Okay, so actually if you scroll down, you can see the stats overview. So it actually gives you an a brief explain a brief explanation about what the stats are. So let's take a look together. So base stats should be quite straightforward. HP, defense attack. Um you guys should know what these are. Okay, single attack, column, row and group attack. These should this should be quite straightforward as well. But okay, it's the advanced stats. Okay, so let's take a look from the top. So crit increases chance to trigger crit damage. And then crit damage increases the power. So these two work hand in hand. So crit is the chance that you will land a critical. So for example, my golden ball is 16% crit and then 162% crit damage. So basically it just means that there's a 16.5% chance you will trigger a crit. And then if you do trigger, then that crit damage will be 162%. Yeah, so it will be good to balance them out. You can't just build any one of the stats, like you can't have a lot of crit but no crit damage or you can't have really high crit damage but no crit rate. Yeah, so if you guys played Summoner's War, you should be a bit more familiar with crit rate and crit damage. Yeah, and also I think Maple Story has crit damage. So crit rate, crit damage should be pretty self-explanatory. Okay, block rate and block. So this is something like crit rate and crit. So block rate is the chance that you will trigger a block and if you do trigger a block, the block is 56% like if you follow my golden ball stats. But if you are building a tank, I would say just go for HP anyway. So the block rate and block doesn't really matter that much. Yeah, so if you are tank, just go for HP. Okay, let's move on to hit. Okay, so hit is a bit confusing. So if you think about hit, you will think that it's about damage. But this is actually something like accuracy. So hit is like you see the bracket effect hit. So it's the chance that you will land a debuff on your enemy. For example, your weaken injury shatter. Yeah, so this increases chance to trigger skill effects. This is actually like accuracy in most other games. I'm not sure why they call it hit. And then effect resist is like the opposite of hit. So it's the chance that you can resist an effect that your opponent does to you. So like let's say a sonic want to shatter you. If you have high effect resist, then you might resist the shatter. Yeah, decreases chance for enemy skill effects to trigger. Okay, let's see. Damage rate affects characters attack damage yeah okay so damage rate is about attack so your dps units you can build him so this is for more for dps units okay damage free so damage free is a bit like damage reduction decreases enemy attack damage so currently um i think a, a lot of my characters don't even have damage rate and damage free yeah, so damage free is something like damage resistance, so it's a bit for defensive stats. And then out damage and out rears is quite straightforward. Increases character's ultimate damage and then increase the resistance of ultimate damage. So when enemy uses ultimate on you, you will have a bit of damage reduction. But I haven't seen any items that does this yet. Okay, heal rate, increase character's healing power, crush rate. So crush attacks reduces the chance of attacks being blocked. So crush rate, I think is, there's a base of 1.65% uh, in, I think for all overall. And this is, chances of attack being blocked. Oh yeah, it's here. Okay, so piercing sigil, I actually um, equip this on him because I don't have much others, better ones. So chance of attack being blocked decreases by 3%. So that's why it has a 3% more crush rate than other units. Yeah, so... 
Let's move on. Crush rate. Crit risk rate. So it decreases chance to be critically hit by enemies. So I'm not sure where to get those as well. Maybe it's from Sigils as well. But the base is also 1.65%. Yeah. So is that the end? Let's see. The other stats. Energy. So energy is of course the thing that you use to use your ultimate. Energy gauge points. At the start of each round you gain one energy for each 1000 points in your energy gauge. Yeah, so this is the base, not counting core skills. Yeah, so that's basically all for the effects. Yeah, so because a lot of people are asking me what is hit, what is damage free, so I thought I would make a short video to explain roughly what all of these mean. Yeah, so that's all for the video. Yeah, so let me know what other videos you guys want to see. And as always, if you like the video, make sure you hit the like button. And also subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you won't miss future videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.